Hello. Hello, mate. Who is this? Oh, come on, keep up. It's Devon. Butler. The very same. How did you get this number? Ah, uh, it doesn't really matter. Listen, listen. I just wanted to pass on a bit of friendly advice. Oh. Now, it's always tricky racing on your home track. The pressure, all the fans watching, it's a nightmare. Right, yeah, I imagine it is. But if you keep your cool, you stay focused, you will get through it, okay? Just, just imagine it's a different circuit on the other side of the planet. Then, when your race does fall apart, it'll be a lot easier to deal with. Yeah, uh, great advice. I knew you'd think so. Anyway, good luck out there today. Just, just try and make it to the end, eh? <laughs> Ta-ta! Uh, yeah, good luck to you too. I'll see you later.
position. You're in 14th position. Battle ahead. Less than a second separate you. They're on old hearts. Giovinazzi behind. Okay, the gap behind is 3.1 seconds. Look after these tires now. We want to finish the race on this compound. Six laps to go. for a new strategy option. Okay, we lost the position. Try to keep focus. is 12.6 seconds. seconds. They're on old mediums. Their tires are four laps old. The time last lap was a 1 minute 43.3. There's five laps of fuel remaining.
is 2.9 seconds. Good job, nice overtake. Gap to teammate behind is 27.1 seconds. Four laps of fuel remaining. No issues with tyre wear for now. Keep taking care of them. This is your final lap, the final lap of the race. Bottas ahead, the gap to the car ahead is 11.0 seconds. They're on old mediums, their tyres are seven laps old. The time last lap was a 1.41.3. You're gaining by over five seconds a lap, keep it up. Front is 9.2 seconds. We've only got two laps of fuel left. over, take care of the car on the way in. And Mercedes have pulled off a great victory here today. What a race for young Aiden Jackson. If he can keep this up, he's got a long, promising career in front of him. Absolutely. He'd have been gutted about that puncture. Imagine what kind of challenge he'd have been able to make without it. You've got to give it to him though, he gritted his teeth and pulled it back. Great driving. Now whisper it quietly, but things seem to be on the up for Racing Point's Aidan Jackson. Want to watch. 
and I can see the drivers starting to approach the podium for the victory celebrations. A real team victory today, everybody played their part. Congratulations then to Mercedes, your race winners today. Someone's the hot topic in the press room. What do you mean? Oh, come on. There's no need to be so modest. What are you on about, Brian? Well, after that puncture, everyone thought you'd lost it. But to pull it back and into the points, it's all anyone's talking about. Well, I'm glad the press has started to take notice. Oh, get used to it. They put a bunch of interviews in your diary for tomorrow. It's why I was calling. Right. Thanks for letting me know. So, don't celebrate too hard tonight, eh? Yeah, alright, Brian. Don't worry. I'm only going to see my mum. Right. Well, each to their own. See you later, Brian. I'm not sure if it's something to do with the energy storage. I'm losing power on the straights. Right. And you said the acceleration was okay. Hmm. We'll take a look at it. And how are we today, chaps? Everything running smoothly, I hope. Oh, all right, Brian. Yeah, we're just going through a few last minute tweaks. Ah, that's what I like to see. With dedication like that, maybe you'll be able to get us back a few more of those points, eh? <laughs> Yeah, I'll try. Actually, Aiden, I'm glad I've caught up with you. I uh, thought you might like to know. I had a call this morning from Toto Wolf. Mentioned you directly. Oh. I think they're sniffing around for next season. You're being watched. So, no pressure then. So, uh, what's the problem with the car? I'm losing power on the straights. It's not a massive issue. I'm sure we can deal with it. Yeah, theoretically, do we have time to install the Spec 2 unit before the race? Yes, boss. And Casper's reporting no problems? No. OK. Let's do it. Put the Spec 2 in Aidens, would you? Well, that would sort it. I mean, if you're sure. Well, of course. You could do with a little boost. A little boost. <laughs> Besides, anything for our star driver. Casper, how are you today? Feeling good about the race?
Ryan. Hey, I'm glad I've called you. Listen, don't worry about Casper. Let me stop you there. Brian, Casper's the furthest thing from my mind right now. I've got a race to focus on. Good man. In the garage just now, that was my fault. I know how he can be. What? Childish? Self-centered? I'm sick of it, Brian. He's been on my case ever since I joined the team. He needs to grow up. Okay, okay. You just leave Casper to me and get your head in the race. Let's put that new power unit to good use, eh? Sure thing, Brian. See you on the other side. Welcome to Monza, where the crowd are ready for today's action. And we hope you're ready to see the world's best drivers fighting it out for that number one spot. It's time for the Italian Grand Prix. We're 12 miles northeast of Milan for today's Grand Prix at a Monza circuit where we can expect top speeds of around 215 miles per hour. 11 corners on this 3.6 mile track with seven of those coming in the form of chicanes and with a good slipstream and DRS open, there should be plenty of opportunity for some passing here today. Here we are then, Monza, the 90th time this event has been held. So a special year for F1 fans, particularly the Italians, who are rightly proud of this event and its heritage. Yeah, it always feels a bit special here, doesn't it, Crofty? Hamilton holds the joint record with Schumacher for number of wins here at five apiece, but could snatch it outright today with a six. Nearly a hundred years of history here, so let's see what this year holds in store for the Italian Grand Prix. Let's run you through the driver grid order for today's exciting race. Lewis Hamilton lines up on pole position and it's Valtteri Bottas that completes the front row. Looking down the rest of the grid we have Verstappen, Ackerman, Carlos Sainz and Kvyat, Norris, Ricardo, Gasly and Alexander Albon, Ocon, Leclerc, Antonio Giovinazzi and Butler, Vettel, Grosjean, George Russell and Aidan Jackson, Magnussen and Nicholas Latifi. And with preparations almost complete, let's head down to the track. Right, let's see if we can squeeze some performance out of this new power unit. Good luck out there today.
but should be within reach soon, Aiden. You are free to race. You up a place. Position. You're in fourth position. Verstappen ahead. The gap is less than a second. They're on fresh softs. Casper is behind you. The gap behind us is 2.2 seconds. They're on fresh softs. The gap to the leader is 2.1 seconds. Six laps until your pit window is open. Position, front of the pack. You're leading the pack, P1. No tyre concerns at the moment, just focus on the driving. teammate by 6.1 seconds.
strategy is available on the MFD. Understood, copy that. This lap of the race so far. Bottas is behind you. The gap to the car behind is 6.1 seconds. They're on old softs. Their tyres are five laps old. We think they've got one more stop. The time last lap was a 1 minute 31.4. of fuel remaining. We're approaching the pit window. You'll be on the mediums. Right, come in at the end of this lap. Replacing if it takes too much damage. No need to worry about tire condition for now. Everything's looking good. Casper 
going in for a stop. this now, first place. Position, front of the pack, album behind, they've entered the pit lane, they're on old softs. That was our last stop, no more scheduled pit stops, four laps remaining. of fuel remaining. Radar is clear. Weather is looking good for now. Dry seem like the fastest tyre at the moment. a new fastest lap of the race.
fastest lap of the race. Keep this up. the rivalry forming between the rookie Aidan Jackson and his veteran teammate Kasper Ackerman. Yeah, it reminds me a little bit of when Hamilton signed from Claren back in 2007. And we all know how that one ended. Alonso returned to Renault pretty much the moment the season wrapped up. Well, let's hope it doesn't come to that. The Racing Point team will be very happy with today's performance and the final result. Another display of excellent driving and excellent teamwork and a well-deserved first-place finish. Good day today. Let's have your take on it. Well, you couldn't have asked for a better result today. Congratulations, Aidan. Top spot on the podium. How are you feeling? Fantastic. I couldn't be happier. I mean, it's the dream, right? I've not got much to say. I'm going to take all of this in, lap it up, and then probably go and ring my mum. A big talking point, irrespective of today's results, is how you've improved overall throughout the season. What would you say to that? I couldn't do it without the support of the team. They've been incredible. I'm feeling looked after and I couldn't ask for more. So any improvements are thanks to them. It's funny you should mention the team as a whole. Can you give us an update? How is the current relationship between you and Kasper Ackerman? Casper's got a way about him, you know? He's hot-headed. He can get offended easily. I'm learning that I've just got to accept that. Any problems are his, not mine. Appreciate your time. I'm here. Oh, good. After that flight delay, I was starting to get concerned. Don't worry. Everything's fine. And they're uh, looking after you? Better than at Silverstone. Good, because you were my lucky charm there, Mum. And I'm hoping you do the same here. I'll try, love. Now just do what you do, and everything will be great. I know. Mirror signal maneuver. And always stick to the speed limit. <laughs> I'll try. Have a great race, Aidan. I'll see you after. I'm so pleased you're here, Mum. This one's for you, eh? 